Welcome back, folks. It is a wonderful Monday evening. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's jump right into the forecast right now as we take a look outside at America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. We're looking south, and we can see a little bit of some hazy skies, a little bit of some cloud coverage. That has that possible chance for some showers to roll on in as we get into these later evening hours. As we take a look at those weather headlines, we're going to notice, though, temperatures are still around those seasonal averages from those low to mid-90s. Even, that's what we're feeling outside right now in those mid-90s. And, of course, that cloud coverage continues with that chance for some tropical moisture thunderstorms to roll on in. Uh, not so much today, but later this week. We'll take a look at that pollen forecast. Still hasn't shifted too much. We're looking at moderate weed and moderate mold pollen in terms of those irritations, but low grasses and not really any tree. Tree pollen season is over, but those irritations are still hanging on out for us, at least uh, throughout this drier weather that we're experiencing right now. Those precipitation values are going to increase throughout the week. We'll notice those current temperatures still 96 in Grand Junction, 91 in Moab, 97 in Delta, and even 92 in Montrose. So definitely still on that warmer side of things. And our almanac will show us we're a few degrees above that seasonal average, at least for today, at 97 instead of that typical 90, that low end, 67 instead of 61. But that's going to shift later this week. It's definitely going to feel on that cooler side of things, and those temperatures will drop down into those low 90s. Now, I've got Lincoln hanging out with me this week for the dog walking forecast, and we'll notice tomorrow sunny skies and that peak temperature of 96 is going to happen at 3 p.m. Now, please feel free to send me a photo of your cute pup at jsage at kerryxtv.com. Thank you to all our viewers that sent me a bunch last week I've got so many to pick through but you know there's always some more cute faces that I would like to have in my inbox now as we also take a look into tomorrow that heat potential has this high pressure system that's continuing to circle and bring those warmer airs over now this high pressure system is actually what we're going to be focusing on alongside that Hillary storm that's uh, to to the uh, east of us because that's what's going to increase our humidity contents and those wind speeds even at 15% right now in Grand Junction and same in Montrose. We're going to get up into the 150, maybe even 200 percentile in terms of those humidities. And as we also take a look, this is that Hillary storm I was just chatting about. It's going to continue to move on up through that Nevada and the Idaho area, but that high pressure over the plains is what's going to fight with this low pressure system associated with the storm, causing a little bit of some unsettled air in in those upper atmospheres so that's what's going to give us 25 maybe even 35 mile an hour winds and with those storms we could even push up into that 45 mile an hour range in terms of those wind speeds so as we take a look out a little bit further this is what we're looking at this high and this low pressure system are continuing to fight with each other and cause those wind speeds to increase now I also want to chat about, well, what we're looking at in terms of that short-term forecast. Some scattered showers tonight, especially uh, over that Salt Lake City area as we get into tomorrow. A little bit of some isolated showers closer to Montrose, Gunnison, Telluride. And as we get into those, uh, well, afternoon hours on Tuesday, those early evening hours, again, some scattered storms could be possible. But I do want to chat about what is called Virga. I've chatted about it all week last week, but it's a dry thunderstorm where you can see that precipitation falling, but it evaporates before it reaches the ground, which is so totally possible with uh, these storms that are rolling on through. But we'll notice rainy all the way through Friday, maybe even Saturday, hanging out in those low 90s at least until Sunday and Monday.